can you use the zero down structure hierarchy that I teach with commercial property? Uh, one of my mentor students asked me this question, and I've got a short video on uh, with my reply. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button uh, and the like button if you like it. Good luck. So I have a question real quick. Um, so the methods that we're learning with the hierarchy, can any of those be applied to like commercial buildings, duplexes, like multifamily housing, apartments? Yeah, it's exactly, they're exactly the same. So it's, that's what we did with storage vault. So we bought that storage vault with uh, a, a subject to the existing loan. And uh, so $250,000 took over that loan and then came up with 50,000 uh, to purchase it and ended up having to only come up with 30,000 because 20 of it went to taxes that, that the, the seller had to pay to prorate them. Okay. So, so that's, and then, then we got the TIF money, $60,000 in TIF money. So we ended up being out 30, being out, uh, being up thirty thousand dollars the day after we closed the deal, and uh, then we started spending that money on the rehab, and we're going to spend a lot more than thirty thousand on the on the rehab, but uh, it's still going to be worth it. And we also the subject to deal we took over had a balloon, which, as you heard me say yesterday, balloons are for clowns. Well, we we took a balloon payment and. Uh, you know, six months, you know, from now, we're going to have to, to pay off that, uh, pay off that note, or actually sooner than that in June, we have to pay off that note. And uh, so that's why, you know, we're selling a couple of properties because we want to raise a little bit of capital and, uh, you know, it makes it a little bit easier because I want to kind of limit my exposure in, you know, one area at a time. I also, over, over time, I had properties that I bought subject to and uh, that, I, that I had purchased over time. And I had a lot of equity in them because after five, six, seven, eight years, they double in value. Uh, you know, properties that I bought in the early aughts uh, and then, um, you know, still had, you know, now, you know, those, those have gone up really dramatically. So, and I bought them down quite a bit, you know, the, the or the, the tenants have bought them down for me uh, over those years. And, but I still had subject to is, and I thought, you know, these, I had a few of them that were actually negative cash flow that were costing me a couple hundred dollars a month because the taxes had gone up on those properties and uh, the mortgage had stayed the same and the, the uh, rents hadn't gone up very much. So I had some negative cash flow and I thought, you know, why don't I just sell some of those properties? So I sold off a few of those subject twos and, um, and I also owned them in different states. I had them in South Carolina and Texas and uh, Arkansas and uh, Ohio. And so I had, them, I had them in these different states and I thought, let's consolidate. So I have most, because I'm getting older, maybe I'll get most of them here in Indiana uh, and Illinois. And so I've got most, of, most everything I own now is in those two states. Uh, and I, as I sold those off, I used that money uh, that I used to sell it to pay off the other subject twos. Uh, so I got rid of most of my mortgages and I've only got a few um, subject twos left uh, now because most of them have been paid off, but they got paid off because of the equity of other subject twos. So I didn't have to come up with extra cash to do that. And it really makes uh, you know, a big difference. Uh, so that was pretty, that was pretty effective.